The Battle of Britain is one of the defining events in our history. The bravery and sacrifice of the men and women who battled the Luftwaffe, the unwavering leadership of Winston Churchill, the devastation of the Blitz, all etched on our memories. But what about our children? How much do they know? Richard Pallow went to a school in South London to find out. It was a lesson with a difference, the chance for this year seven to hear about the events of 70 years ago first hand. Was it you or other people inside whilst you were driving the air, um, Spitfire? Well, in a Spitfire all by yourself. Tony Iverson was one of the 3,000 Allied pilots who defended our skies. He's one of only 70 left. For these 11 year olds history is compulsory but the Battle of Britain is not a subject they will touch on at school yet. The thing is that this generation are the last who will ever have the chance to speak to a pilot like Tony. So the question is, how much do they know? So a history test, who was Churchill? Um, he was a prime minister that um, helped England go against Germany and win. What are the names of the planes on our side? In the Spitfire. Spitfire! Another one? Um, um, uh, hurricane. hurricane. Um, um, do you know any more? No, I can't remember. I don't really. No. <laughs> <laughs> who knows what the German Air Force was called? Dismiss that was the plane. What was, that? what was the whole Air Force called? I think you're the closest. Luft. Luftwaffe. Luftwaffe. Well done. I love you. <laughs> so cool. Seventy years to the day, the Battle of Britain was at its most critical. Two massive waves of German attacks propelled. Sixty Luftwaffe planes shot down. The invasion of Britain postponed. Of course, the Blitz still came and it hit hard on the very road this school now stands, giving today's visit extra poignancy. Well, I was very pleasantly surprised, bearing in mind that it's 70 long years ago, although it was a very important battle in not only the history of our country but of the world, it was still very encouraging. The RAF Benevolent Fund now wants people to pen a heartfelt thanks for those who served past and one got an application the form. You know what they are, you'll fill them in on all the ones who know everything. Richard Palo, I sent it off.